Okay, before you unmold, make sure you do a pH test, okay? So I'm gonna do a pH test now. Make sure it's a clean one, okay? So get it ready. Okay, so what you do, wear glove, okay? You said I'm not sure it's safe or not, so wear glove. Just go into water, find a part. Double check. Uh, it's around nine, okay? Nine or 10, okay? So it's in the safe range. If it's in the uh, purple, okay, blue zone, then it's in that no good zone, okay? So we, we arrived, but we had to unmold this, cut in the middle. This, this is uh, the, the uh, surface, okay? So we're gonna have to check the, the middle. Let's do that, unmold. Move this aside. Okay. To unmold, just lift the side, both side. Okay. This side as well. The end. So I left this for 24 hours. Okay, so. See a bit soft. See a bit soft, see a bit soft. See a bit too soft, guys, to unmold. So I'll get rid of this uh, loose one here. Safe it so you can have the, your your off cut. Okay, you can test it out later, or you can rebatch it. But it's still a bit too soft to cut. Like if you use a uh, cleaver like I am here, uh, it's it's alright <laughs> to leave for a few days, so you can still cut it. But if you are using a uh, using a uh, a specialized uh, string color, you might have a problem. Let me turn it up. Yeah, still too wet, too hasn't dry yet. Uh, I use a lot of water, a lot of gel as well, so it doesn't, doesn't set as, as much as I want. Now there are a few things you can do when this happens. You can leave on your, your bench like this. And let it settle down. Wait. Okay, basically you have to wait. So I'll probably, uh, the best case scenario, I'm not in a rush. I'll weigh it out, okay, uh, and see what happens from there. Um, so I'll point it away for another 24 hours before I cut this. It's just too, too soft. Okay, so I'll leave it out like this on the bench, um, you know, room temperature, and uh, see how it goes, okay? But the color turned out great so far. Too way too soft. I don't want to break it anymore, yeah, so. But I do, since we're here already, I'll leave it like this, and I'll do a, uh, a ladder test, okay? So it's still there, right? I'll do a ladder test for you. Get a ball. It's the off cut, okay? I'll do the off cut. Just try to check if it's staining the because uh, I use a uh, um, if it's staining the uh, the ladder okay and blue coming through doesn't look doesn't feel like it doesn't look like it now uh, there's no blue coming through so we successful a little bit but uh, it's still wet okay so it's not as bad okay? I didn't use uh, too much uh, in uh, indigo powder for this recipe. So it doesn't come through uh, as you can see here. But there's still some kind of blue in the water. Okay. Have to wait and see, do, kind of do more testing. But the laddering is good. Very bubbly. Feel great on the hands. I didn't use uh, 
much else. There's no clay or anything. There's no essential oil. So just uh, oil and the special ingredient botanical is aloe vera. So that's how this one turned out. I'll do another video as well to see how I can cut this. So I'll see you next time when I get a chance to cut this. But for now, looking good. Um, you can see the bluish water. But that's to be expected, you know? Okay, I'll see you next time in another video. All good.